Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's quite common, as many of you may know, for Microsoft to use so-called assertive tactics to push their own products and services um, in the Windows operating system. And uh, um, in regards to this, as many of you may know, um, Edge, Microsoft Edge, is the uh, default web browser that comes bundled with both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And because of this, um, if you are using Google Chrome on those uh, platforms, that last year, um, Google, if we just head to the settings menu and we head over to the default browser page, last year, Google made it a whole lot easier to change the default web browser to Chrome on Windows 10 and Windows 11, where they introduced a make default button on this page, which if you did click um, by default, would just make the browser your default web browser of choice on those uh, platforms. Now, um, it seems though with a recent uh, Patch Tuesday update to Windows 10 that um, Microsoft may have um, broken this feature which Google introduced last year. Now, once again, it's not known if this is a bug or if this is a deliberate choice by Microsoft, but nonetheless, um, if you are running Windows 10 um, after applying the April Patch Tuesday update, KB5025221, which would, would have been a compulsory mandatory update. It seems now that Microsoft has so-called broken this feature in Google Chrome. And uh, um, a lot of users have found, according to reports, that uh, this make default button on this page of Google Chrome no longer worked after applying the update 5025221. And um, basically... Um, when launching Chrome, if it wasn't uh, the default web browser, um, it would take you automatically over to the the um, apps page in the settings of Windows 10 and to the default apps where obviously you would then have to uh, change Edge um, to Chrome and make Chrome your default um, web browser on this page, which wasn't the case when Google introduced that make default button. So it seems once again that Microsoft may be using um, assertive marketing so-called tactics to push their own web browser. Now at this stage, according to reports, um, it is affecting enterprise users more than home users. But nonetheless, I thought I'd just make this video just to keep you updated and in the loop, um, you know, just to keep us all on the same page, so to speak. And uh, um, uh, if you are affected by this issue, obviously, um, if the negatives are outweighing the positives and you are really um, having problems with this issue, you can always uninstall the relevant update. And to do that, you can just head to uh, View Update History. And although it's not recommended to uninstall security updates, there's always options to uninstall updates. So you can just click on Uninstall Updates, find the relevant update, and just uninstall that from your system. But nonetheless, um, over and above that, though, I do actually think, though, that Google did roll out a fix for this issue um, in April, sometime in April. So um, if the issue is still persisting and um, you are seeing the kind of symptoms, as I've mentioned in this video, regarding setting a Google Chrome as your default web browser um, on Windows 10, um, and if um, your browser hasn't been patched yet, then obviously... If the negatives are outweighing the positives, you can always just try and uninstall the update. But nonetheless, just bringing that to your attention that it seems, once again, Microsoft using assertive marketing tactics to push Edge on Windows 10 this time. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.